Hello everyone. Welcome to part three of my City Skylines playthrough here. Since I recorded part two, there's been an update from the producers of the game, bringing it up to version 1.0.6b. That update has apparently fixed a few bugs, performance related and others. But it's also brought the ability to switch the direction of one-way roads and also upgrade between one-way and two-way. The practical upshot of that, the ability to switch the direction of one-way roads, is now it's possible to drag the road in the direction that's more convenient to build. And if it happens to be the wrong direction, it can then be switched. That should make uh, construction in uh, tighter places and so on much more convenient. Now, last time around, I put this spooey thing here, and I've been thinking about it, and I've decided I don't actually like it. So the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of it and put in a more typical diamond st style intersection. I'm going to pause the game while I do that so that the uh, so that the uh, traffic doesn't get all confused. Okay, this feels a little bit snappier. Okay. Now, I need to back that up a bit more. And now, it's time to Okay. Now I need ramps and we'll go for the curve tool. Be nice if you could turn off that snap thing. And I'll do the same thing on this side. Now, apparently, Switching the road direction. Aha, you right click on it during the upgrade tool. It works nicely. Okay. I think I like that. Now they need to update the tool tip so that it's obvious, but uh, you know what? 
I don't think that's so much of a uh, problem, really. Okay. Okay, I can start the simulation up again. Ah yes, I need to fix that one ramp. There we go. Okay, I'm liking this upgrade uh, tool here on roads. Now. I think what I'll do now is work on Riverbend here. Okay. Now, in here, clearly, a, a grid pattern is not optimal. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the non-snapping curve tool. And... Add in some Add in some uh, roads here Now there's no reason not to bring these grid roads out further so I'm going to do that. Okay, so the snap to grid, along with the straight tool, allows for nice, easy grid building. I haven't mastered the freehand tool yet, but uh, the curve and the straight tools have been pretty much all I've needed. Now if I go back to the curves, actually in this case I think I want a straight one. Right.
Yeah, I think that's that's how I'm, I'm going to set that up. Okay, now I need to get water in. So this part's easy. Again, like I've said before, the water pipes don't actually need to follow the roads. It's just my OCD um, I, I, I just it's, it's, it seems to organize better that way in my head, but there's definitely no reason that you need to do that when you're building your city. Now, often in the uh, real world, the uh, the pipes will be buried in the roads and so on, but uh, that's not always the case. Okay. Now, in this area, this river bend area, it's going to be low density here. Now, I'm going to need some commercial stuff. I'm going to put it along the highway here where it's somewhat noisy because people don't want to live right against the highway. Okay, now I think for good measure, put an elementary school in, and I think I'll put a high school in too, just, okay, and I think smart money is on a fire station as well. Yeah. Okay. Now. Now fill the rest of this in with residential. Okay. Now, one more thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put sound barriers on this highway. Right, upgrade. Apparently this one, the ramp is in the way.
Okay. Oh, that's so much nicer being able to switch the direction of a one-way. Now, okay. I'm still only on buses. What I should do is add a bus route here in Riverbend. Send it the other way as well. Okay. I think, yeah, that'll do. Okay, speed it up for a bit here. Oh, apparently there's a way to turn down the uh, volume of Chirpy. Since I'm ignoring him, I don't actually need Chirpy, so I can turn him right off. Okay. Yeah. Now... I should check on the services here. Power is doing okay. Okay, water's getting iffy, so I should uh, expand that before it's a problem. Okay, that's intake. The color's actually better, too. And the outflow. What's this? Ah. Oh, I've got some bits there that don't fit into a district.
Okay. And... Whoops. I don't know if I'm going to actually do anything with these districts. I just think it's kind of cool that you can name the districts in your city. Okay, slow this back down again. Now. I don't have the snap tool on. I keep forgetting coming off the wider road you have to adjust for it. which I apparently neglected to do on the other side. Well, that'll be easily remedied. I'm just filling in the grid up to the highway here. There's no reason not to uh, continue the grid pattern in this area. There's no obstacles, so... And clearly I'm not going that far. Okay. This one will not connect because it's too close to the interchange. No, that doesn't work. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Now, I'll fill in the water. up the zoning over here. Okay. Now, I need some commercial, so I'll put the commercial close to the... For some higher density whoops stuff over here I will clearly need education station and a hospital on top of that I'm going to put a park over here the zoning. Now I won't zone down that side. Okay. Now I'm going to make this a different district. I think I'll call it Highway Run or something like that.
Okay, speed it up some more here. I see I've got something resembling a traffic snarl here. Oh, I reached a milestone. Ah, I've got trains now. Excellent. Okay. Next, be a big city. Okay. Was I? Oh yes, the traffic jam. I think it's that intersection that's the bottleneck. Well, let's take a look. I read somewhere. That's a large roundabout. How big? How big is it? That's huge. No. However, I think maybe expanding the road here may help.
Ah, I see. I should be able to help things by putting a new road.
Okay. we go. That cleared the backlog. Well, I don't know why exactly. Okay, so... Okay, I can build incinerators now. Okay, trash.
Now let's empty the landfills. Okay, so I'm emptying the landfills, which I'll then be able to get rid of, since the incinerators will... Whoops. Uh, there's some people on the forums asking for just that escape to exit the uh, overlays. Uh, apparently I'm not the only one that keeps pressing escape there. Um, right, well, right, I was going to look here. Don't have crematoria yet. All right. Okay. Okay, so how's power doing? Okay, power's still good. Okay. I need more places for people to live, apparently. So. You know what? I'm going to hold off until the next part before I do that. And then I'll uh, get on with expanding the residential areas. Probably over into this direction. Although what I really should do is look at bringing this highway across. No, I'll have to wait until... I'll have to wait until I get the landfills gone. Okay. Okay, excellent. Uh, no, actually, I'll probably, no, see the industrial stuff here is in the way of the highway, so I'm going to have to rethink things. Okay, uh, plenty of time for that next time around. So I'm going to save the game here. Here it is. Okay, saving the game and okay, there we go. Uh, that's it for part three. I'll see you next time in part four. Thanks for watching.